I'm checking out the JB 1.2 and the JB XL from Easy Solar. So both of these junction boxes come with a DIN rail uh, that you can mount terminal blocks to. This is, you know, removable if you don't want it. They also have a grounding bar at the top and then several holes um, for mounting this deck box to the roof. You have a bag of 12 screws, which is interesting because there's one, two, three, four holes to mount it. And then there's one, two, three, four, five around the, ex the exterior. Kind of funny because if you can install a deck box and not lose a screw, you're, you're a legend. So that's actually pretty considerate. Um, let's see here. Check this out down here. Those are, those are weeping holes right there. That has an outline right here on where you put your sealant on the exterior of where the box is mounted. And something else you'll notice is when I put this lid on, this is something that is extremely unique to this juncture box. The profile isn't that tall, but the lid is really thin. So that leaves you all of this space for like a three quarter inch knockout if you're running conduit. And what's nice about that is you don't have to come out of the bottom. You can come out the side. For the instructions, uh, the quick guide, you know, taking the lid, tracing it out on the roof, prying up the shingles, uh, cutting it out. You also have your sealant zone that's marked out on the back. This is a JB uh, 1.2. It's all melted because I tried starting it on fire and bashing it with a hammer. The same same principle. You have the you have the uh, grounding bar top comes with the DIN rail and then those same uh, 12 screws. Yeah, the XL versus the two. DIN rail's a little bit bigger, so it looks like you could fit a couple more terminal blocks on it. I think you would want one of these if you are, man, combining more than one or two circuits in the junction box and sending a home run down. This is gonna get pretty messy, more than two or three conduits when you're doing like four or five, but it's, it's not that much bigger. I forgot to mention, but I think my favorite thing about these junction boxes is the bag they come in. Um, it's, it's literally a perfect bag for filling up with all the shingles that you cut out, all of the trash, your coke bottle, and then you can just seal it back up and toss it off the roof. Literally, literally the best feature. All right, so story time. So my... I remove solar panels and generally solar panels are removed because the homeowner needs a new roof. Um, I had one of these junction boxes installed on the roof and the installer had put it in a really weird place and I wanted to remove it and then reinstall a new one when the roof's back on and the panels come back on. The installer had, had used a Phillips bit that was too small and stripped out the four screws that screw it into the, the decking of the roof. I figured that I would just break the deck box. And so I grabbed a hammer and I just started smashing it. And I started kicking it. I started ripping it with the pry bar. I could not break it off of the roof. And when I was doing that, I realized, hey, wait a second, this is ABS plastic, this is PVC, it's it's brittle, it's not very strong. Why can't I break this deck box? If you're a solar installer, you know there's a metal junction box, which is the standard for the industry and almost everybody uses them. They're big, they're heavy, they're expensive. And then the alternative looks like a cheap plastic one. They're not plastic, they're polycarbonate. And polycarbonate is a lightweight, extremely durable variation of plastic. When we see plastic, we automatically assume cheap. But there's materials that are like plastic that are very high end and expensive. The one that comes to mind is carbon fiber. You can't say, oh, the carbon fiber, oh, it's a cheap plastic, it's not. And that's, that's where I would relate these junction boxes is that they're extremely high quality. Another uh, situation, I was trying to drill a hole in the deck box and my last hole saw broke. And so all I had was an old dull one um, to do the knockout for my conduit and I needed to get the job done. I didn't want to run to the store. Um, so I grabbed that one and I started, you know, put it on my drill and started drilling through. And I couldn't drill through this deck box. There, the teeth weren't very sharp on the hole saw, so it was just smoking it. 
and it was smoking and it was getting really hot but it wasn't melting and it wasn't getting through the deck box. Normal plastic, you would be able to just melt your way through it. I started to notice that this deck box has some great thermal properties. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I saw one of these Easy Solar deck boxes, I was used to installing these big, heavy aluminum ones. And I'm like, what is this piece of garbage? And what I didn't understand was the quality of the material and the functionality of the product. It's, it's easier to cut knockouts in it. It's easier to work with. It's easier to flash. It's just, a, it's just an all around more functional product. And you don't have to sacrifice quality. I also, can speak very highly of the company Easy Solar. The people who work there, they care about the solar industry and they're actively trying to make the industry better and to make better products um, for solar panel installations. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if this information was helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and check out the other content I have about solar.